So we're back with another AI and finance video. Today, we're gonna to take a quick look at how we can use ChatGPT together with some of the AI that's embedded in Microsoft Excel in order to quickly put together a peer group to start doing comparable analysis for valuation purposes. Let's dive in and take a look. Now, as you can see right here, we're using 3.5, which is currently the most powerful free version of the software. Now let's focus down on the message box here where we're gonna put in a prompt. And as you can see, we're looking for comparables to Eli Lilly, which is a large US-based pharmaceutical company. It's come up with a list of companies, it's come up with their tickers, and also a brief description. Now this is definitely a great start, but we want two things to be removed from these results. Number one, the ticker symbol. Some of these companies may be interlisted on more than one exchange. It appears as though ChatGPT has selected one of the exchanges, but we want the ability to look at all the exchanges and select ourselves. The second thing that we'd like to remove is the description, because as we're gonna see, we'll be able to pull that into Microsoft Excel ourselves. So let's put another prompt in there and get it working on the new revised list. Perfect, so this is where things get really fun. Let's go over here and just select these 10 companies and quickly do a copy, Control C, and then head over to Excel. Now we've just opened up a blank Excel file here and we're gonna hit paste, which is Control V. Now we definitely like using the keyboard in Excel. Now we wanna go up to the data section of the ribbon. So we're gonna hit Alt right up here, A for data. And now you can see here, we can hit D1 to get into these stock types here. So D1 really quickly, and now go over to stocks and hit enter. Now, why did our cursor jump to down here? Well, for the first eight companies, Microsoft was able to use AI to determine one exchange where they're trading. But for these companies, they're actually interlisted on multiple exchanges. Now we can see all of the exchanges over here where this particular company is listed. We wanna select the NASDAQ here, and now we can go down here and click select, and that's done. For this one, let's also select the NASDAQ right here, and then go down here and click select. Perfect. Now let's get a little more space to work with. We're gonna quickly delete this column. Let's also pop up here really quickly and insert a couple of rows so we have room for headers. And what we're also gonna do is get down to a zoom level so that we can build some columns across. Perfect. Now let's quickly auto fit these column widths here. And then we're gonna drop in some headings that we wanna populate. Now remember how we removed the description from ChatGPT's list? Why did we do that? Well, we can easily get it right here by clicking here and we have the description that we can bring in if we want it. But for now, we're gonna focus on these headers, which we wanna bring into the data set. Since these companies have already been identified as stocks, it's gonna be very quick for us to get this type of data. So let's select these companies here and use our mouse right here and we can go down and we wanna find the previous close, which is right there and it brings it in. Let's quickly populate these other columns. Let's click in here, right back to the top, 52 week high, 52 week low. We also want the shares outstanding down near the bottom, right there. Now let's quickly auto fit this column width and we're all set. Now, as you can see, this has given us a great start for a set of comparables. We're definitely not finished since we'd need to continue on to get the last 12 months of EBITDA for these companies and the enterprise value. But what's been so helpful here is that ChatGPT helped us understand what the comparable companies were, and then we used the AI that was embedded in Excel to figure out the exchanges that those companies were listed on and list the exchange that we were looking for. Now, our valuation work is by no means complete, but these AI tools were able to give us a huge head start towards getting this project done. We hope you've really enjoyed this tip, and we'll see you in the next AI and Finance video.